Hello, this is an Eve Staff Pianet mini piano and I've been looking forward to getting one in past exchange just to make a video of and explain why we don't buy and sell these. So if you're in the trade and interested, please let me know because I know that some people in the trade do sell them. Um, and the casework on this is very good. This is an oak one. They um, do quite a few oak ones and, well, mahogany other colours too. I'm not sure the date of this, well, I would guess 1925, 1930, but if you are in the trade and know much better than I do, then please let me know. Um, but this is an interesting system for the music stand. I haven't seen on the pianet before. So as you lift the, this lid, you can pull the stand up, as you can see, and then, then it'll, it'll stand up when you put it back down again. So there's an Amy stuff and a music stand up. I There are quite a lot of these mini pianos in the UK, and... Let me explain why we don't buy and sell them. So the problem with these, they're very, very short keys. So there's, if you look at the key, it just goes from, from here to here. And so there's not enough leverage really to get a good, a good action and therefore you can't get good control on it. And if you're learning seriously studying, then it, it's not really adequate. And I know in the USA you have a lot of spinet pianos. I'm sure you'd love to comment on this too, but uh, the action's drop action. Uh, drop it inside to make the piano very small, tabletop height obviously. Um, this pedal is very squeaky here. And to work on the action is difficult. You can get them out. There's, uh, we have, I've done them in my early days of piano dealing, um, worked on them for people. But uh, we won't sell them because of this, uh, as I say, very short leverage here. Key, the longer the key, the better in some respects. Um, so if you want to comment again, if you're in the trade, they're attached on here. I won't go into this in detail. I just wanted to explain why we don't buy and sell them. I don't recommend them for study, but obviously as, as a piece of furniture, you might be interested. They're usually quite, um, quite stable on tuning, re relatively well made in that sense. Uh, although some of these tabletop pianos tune underneath. Um, again, if you're in the trade, like to comment, please do. Uh, that's a great nuisance, tuning them underneath. It's not uh, an easy task, but there are quite a few in the UK. I'm not sure what what number, but a good, good number. But don't recommend these very small pianos. I hope that's helpful. We'll have a quick listen. So it's quite well in tune. And for the size of the piano, it's a surprising bass. So. So it's a pos there are positive things to say about the piano. But to work on it when the hammers, and this has been used quite a lot, the hammers is quite worn. So um, that's, uh, just, I'll just take the bottom panel off to show you what it looks like. So this is a typical drop action. I don't know if you, drop action and spin out are the same thing. Perhaps you can comment on that because it's not something I get involved with normally. So I just decided to turn the flash on so you could see it a bit better. So it's a normal looking action, but connected with these rods and um, can be got at. It's uh, you have to take it. I haven't done them one for so long that I can't remember, but it's, you take those screws off and so on. Um, anyway, it's not something I want to go into particularly. Just wanted to explain why we we don't sell buy and sell mini pianos. And this is in past exchange. So if you're interested um, in taking it off our hands, please do let us know.